Alright then, guys and gals, welcome to another episode of Up to Eleven with me, Killjoy, the show where we get to listen, li li listen to video game music. Uh, what we're listening to today then? We are listening to a. For me, it's a classic, maybe not for a lot of people, but it's definitely something I remember from my childhood. It is Army Men Sarge's Heroes. And I've got the Dreamcast, or the American Dreamcast picture there, I think, but I had it on the Dreamcast, but I also played the PC version and I think the PlayStation version. Um, yeah, this game was really fun for me, and it's something that just has a lot of good memories. Maybe if I played it now, maybe not so much, but the music was something I definitely enjoyed, and that's why we're listening to it today. So, first track is called Blue Spy, and this is like a tension, it's like a bit of music that's used when there's tension around. A lot of these have names for specific levels or people but they're used for different parts in the game. So yeah, this is, this track's got, uh, like I said, they've got a bit of tension to it, so we'll kick things off then. This is Blue Spy. <laughs> Spy, and I just remembered that if I remember rightly, there's, the there's an N64 version of this as well, and I've heard some of the music from that, and I know that the music, because it's both different sound chips or whatever they were using at the time, that the soundtrack for this is probably different to the N64 version, but I think this is the same as the PC version. This music, also the gameplay was different. I think the Dreamcast actually had, uh, a, at the time, was actually better on the Dreamcast, like the gameplay and everything was a lot more fluid and the levels were slightly different to the PC and the N64 version especially on the multiplayer map so it was noticeable. Anyway, moving on to the next uh, track, well first of all, yeah like I said you can tell now that that track has got a tension and to be fair the um, sound quality is pretty good on the on the synths that they use for that most likely or any samples but it's probably more synths than anything. It's, it's a lot better than I remember it anyway. But moving on uh, to the next track uh, this one is called Bathroom, because you're fighting in a bathroom. And this is this is a rocky, more rocky type track, so this is pretty cool. So this one is Bathroom.
yeah, so that is bathroom, and I like the uh, use of talk box in that. It's a bit like the, I don't remember the uh, guitar sounding quite so guitar-like. I didn't think I thought they were more MIDI sounding, but yeah, they're they're quite they're quite, they're a lot more they've got a lot more clarity to them than I remember. But yeah, I do like the uh, talk box in that. That level was a pain, if I remember rightly, but uh, again, uh, really really nice use of music in a game on a particular level. So, following on for that, next track is called Sandbox, and again this is uh, a kind of a rock track. This one's got a bit more sort of urgency about it. That one was kind of like laid back, so I think, I think this one's got a bit more urgency about it. So, let's give this one a listen. This is Sandbox. <laughs> Yeah, so that sandbox. Uh, I would love to s hear someone do like a more an actual real version of that, like but more m metally, but not over the top. But I think that would sound great. Uh, love, love that track. Love the drums in it. Love the guitar riff. It reminds me of something else, but uh, it's just that's a good track. I really do like that one. Okay, so lastly, because I got we're doing four tracks instead of three. Lastly, this last track is. My, this is probably the reason why I remember this game so well. Is this piece of music that uh, it's it's on it, it's got the name of the multiplayer level. It's a multiplayer player level called island, and you're on a big sort of island. It's four player, couple hills, weapons everywhere, sniper rifle in the middle or something. And it's also used for a very short time in the main game. Most of the other tunes you'll hear once or twice, but this bit for some reason uh, you only hear it like once in the main game. And this is a basically uh, meant to be a reggae track, and it's so bizarre it kind of doesn't fit with the rest of the game. If you listen to the soundtrack from start to finish, this just it seems like it should be in a different type of game. So I'm going to stop talking now because I love this track. So this one is called Island. <laughs>
Yeah, so that's Island, and that really, t I just love that. Uh, I have heard, that that's the one track I have heard from the N64, and it's l weird, it's like, the N64 version, everything wasn't mixed properly, or something for that piece of music, everything just doesn't sound right. Um, it sounds a bit different, uh, I think it's like, the melody's really quiet in it for some reason, but the bass is really loud. Uh, I do prefer the Dreamcast version, which is that one I just played. Um, I, I think that's, for me, hearing something like that in a video game is just, it's just like such a turn on to that game. It's like, wow, this has this excellent piece of music that's, okay, it's a bit odd shooting someone to reggae music, <laughs> but it just works perfectly. As for the composer, the composer is a gentleman, and I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his last name, but his name is Kevin, I think it's Man Manathe, or something like that. It'll be up in the uh, description of this video. Um, he's done this. He's done some weird selections of games. I can't remember exactly, but I was looking down the list earlier, and there's some odd games in there. He's done music for film trailers or, or films, and he's also done some television uh, series as well. Um, I would go and check so I would probably check out some of the other games, even though they might not be the best things in the world. If the music is as good as it is in this game, and if it's like and similar in other games, then pff, I would definitely check this guy out. He just just for this soundtrack alone, he's one of my favourite composers. Even if he's never done anything else I've played, you know, he's never been on anything anything else I've heard or on another game. So, but yeah, you should check him out. Uh, like I said, I'll have the Wikipedia link up in the description. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much me done for today, so I'll see all you guys next time.